Good afternoon everybody, Chad from Six Vlog. I'm Stick. Uh, today I just want to do a quick video and show you how I go about setting up my Z-Pax Cuban Fiber uh, Hexamed Cello Plus tarp. Uh, now some of you may remember that about a year and a half ago I bought the uh, Hexamed Cello Plus tent and uh, I really enjoyed using it. The only thing I wasn't real uh, just in love with was the mesh floor. Uh, so I ended up selling that tent a few months ago, and I turned around and I bought the tarp version of it. Same tent, the Solo Plus, uh, same size, uh, it just doesn't have the mesh ground sheet in it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to take the time to uh, just um, show you how I set this up. Uh, also, just so you know, this is the tarp by itself inside the stuff sack that it comes with. And for a point of reference, this is a 1 liter Nalgene bottle. So you can see how tall it is there. And if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, of course, it varies on how you actually uh, fold it up and put it in the stuff sack, but that's about the pack size of it. Now, the only thing that you really need to set this tarp up with is uh, you need one trekking pole. Uh, I have my Gossamer Gear LT4, and z packs recommend setting this tent up at, uh, with a pole that's 52 inches. Uh, so I just kind of roughly set it. I know that 52 inches for me is somewhere about nipple line. So uh, that's what I've got that pole set up. And you need stakes. Uh, you need at least six stakes minimum to set this tent up uh, or tarp up. And at most you need ten stakes. Um, I will say before I set this up, uh, the only thing that's different, uh, this is was actually one of the, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? One of the displays that uh, z packs had uh, this year at the ADZ PCT KO, the annual day, uh, annual day zero, whatever, you know what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, this was actually one of the displays, so whenever uh, Joe sent it to me, it actually had all of the lines and everything uh, pre-cut. So this is actually by their specifications. The only thing that I can say that I've done different is I did remove the front guy line and put a longer guy line on it. Um, so that is a little bit different. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and set this up right here uh, just so you can see how it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to speed it up uh, once I get inside and do the editing and I'll probably just do a voiceover because uh, I'm not sure how well you can hear me out here. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Okay, so naturally the first thing I'm doing is taking the uh, tarp out of the stuff sack. You gotta do that with anything, nothing new. Um, the first thing I wanna do is orient my tarps so that I know where the uh, the front is, where the back is, the sides is, and which, you know, which side is what. Um, on this particular tarp, I know that if I'm looking at it while it's set up, the front left corner is gonna have the Z-Pax logo patch on it, and that's always the side that I start out with. So on the corners, I'm just using some of the uh, Lawson Klein titanium skewer stakes. Um, I go ahead and I just stake this first one out. You know, nothing to it. Not really a whole lot to say. Uh, and then I'm going to go directly across it to the net, to the other front corner. Uh, I'm going to pull it taut. And once I pull it taut, I'm actually going to go back in about 8 to 10 inches and then stake it down. And that's going to allow the tarp to be able to lift up off the ground. Uh, instead of being so tight across the front. Now next I go to the back and this is different than what Joe shows on his video but I pull it back like I'm doing now and that centers the tarp. Um, I don't put the stake in it with it pulled all the way tight. Uh, once I pull it back I kind of go back up and I stake it down to where the back of the tarp actually is. That way it'll allow me a little room to pull it forward. Uh, then next I'm going to obviously do the front tie out and the front and the back tie-out are actually the tie-outs that are going to take most of the stress on this particular tarp. Uh, so because of that, I'm using the uh, MSR carbon core stakes. They're just a little bit bigger in diameter, so they'll have a little better holding power. Once I get that front stake, I'm going to go to the back two corners, and I'm going to go ahead and stake out those back two corners. Now once I get these two back corners staked out, I essentially have the tarp set up. 
Um, there's not a whole lot extra I can really do to it. As you can see here, I am readjusting the front guy lines, not because the Cuban is, is uh, not because of the Cuban, but more so because um, those lines, after I get everything else set up, it's not at a hundred, it's not at a 45 degree angle coming off the tarp. And that's just a personal preference for me. And then the last thing I'm doing here is just clipping up the beak, the front beak. Okay guys, uh, as you can see that didn't really take long. Like I said, I, that was uh, played back in fast time. However, to be completely honest, if it took me more than a minute and a half to do that, I'd be surprised. And I'm going to say it's probably closer to a minute. Um, but anyway, right now, I only have the six minimum stakes uh, set up. As you can see, I have a tie out here. I have the two tie outs on the back. And I have this tie out here. Uh, that would bring my total to uh, 10 stakes, obviously. And uh, I could um, guy those out if I needed to. Um, used to when I had my tent, I did just because they were there. Um, however, since I've gotten my tarp, um, I haven't really done that. Um, I usually do guy out the side panels, but I don't usually worry about the back panels. Now, if it was going to be really windy or something, that would be fine. You know, I would go ahead and do that. Um, but anyway, there you can see it. Uh, it's a pretty tight pitch. Um, plenty of room under there. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there's plenty of room up underneath there. Um, I will say that I did some of the uh, I did some of it a little bit different than what is recommended on the uh, Z-Pack site. Uh, normally, what he does is he'll pitch or he'll guy out the two fronts, and then he'll guy out the front. Uh, main line here and then he'll go back and guy out the back however uh, I've just preferred to do it uh, the way that you saw me do it in the video um, but anyway guys that's it um, this is the Z-Pack Solar Plus Hexamid Tarp and it does have a beak I just have the front of it rolled up right now um, but anyway pretty cool tarp uh, I've got a Hexanet that should be coming in for it pretty soon uh, looking forward to getting that and uh, seeing how it works out for me uh, but anyway, I just wanted to do that video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to post them below, and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you answering any of those questions you may have or reply to the comments. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me, uh, I'm open to those. See you later. We'll see you.